Yeah, to put the change in the, the way the, the Omnium has been structured, the four events are in one day, they're over quite sort of a short period of time. So having the endurance and being able to create the repetition is, I mean, really physically challenging. Um, and I think you said just there that Jason Kenny said he's a natural born racer. Well, you can't even teach that sort of skill. Some people just have that sixth sense. He just finds his way through the bunch in such a beautiful, elegant way. Um, it's something, a skill that most riders would dream of. Because knowing what Matt Wills just did such an incredible, impeccable job. Also, they have to do maths in their head the whole time. Mm. So how many points are available if they catch the rest of the, the peloton? You know, if they lap the rest, how many points are available if they catch the rest of the, the peloton, you know, if they lap the rest of them, 20 extra points. And he just, it was a textbook performance. I think it's going to be difficult for, I think for everyone coming into the Omnium now, they're going to look at the, what Matt did and go, that is the, the, the standard that we need to achieve. It was impeccable. Um, we talk a lot about inspiration and, and people achieving Olympic success and inspiring others. And Matt went along to, to a taster session, as his parents were explaining, when he was quite young. And then when he was St. Thomas and M you know, make someone like Matt want to be an Olympian. I mean, I mean, that's fantastic. That's really joyful. And Geraint and Ed are such legends within the team and such nice guys. And I think, you know, they say don't meet your heroes, but in, in the case of Geraint and Ed do, because they will be everything you expect and more. Well, it certainly made a difference for Matt Walls, right? With I do. So he's got Leverson next, the world champion. Yes. Do you think he could beat him? I think he could. I really do. I think he's got... There's something about, about the way he's talking. He seems relaxed. He seems confident. His tactics have been wonderful so far. He seems to have enough pace. Um, I, I never say never. I think anything can happen in the sprint. Now, talking of Leverson, it was he who knocked out Jason mm. Kenny. And Kenny's been very honest about how difficult... Talking of the Kieran, let's have a look at the women's race and how it's... Skin suits. So yeah, you've got no back protector, have you? You've nothing. got no shin pads, nothing. And when you flip the bike like that and land sort of almost sliding with your head down the track, it, you can get... It's a big impact. It's a lot of impact. I really hope she, she recovers well. But so unfortunate for Katie because there is nothing she could have done there. And looking at the final, um, the girls going into the final, I was like, this was a real opportunity for Katie. I could see her on the podium in this event and she has been riding so well throughout the competition. Yeah, real shame for yeah. Katie March and, and she was so cool about it afterwards because she just said,